Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another vlog for you today. This is going to be my back to school vlog. I moved back into college on Friday and today is Wednesday. So I have two days to get all my shit together and mentally prepare myself for the fact that I actually am going back to school and I'm gonna have to be in classes again. So about five months ago now, in the middle of March, we were all kicked off of campus because of quarantine and flash forward, now it's August and it's time to go back. I don't know exactly what happened in that period of time, but I'm pretty sure I just played a lot of Sims and watched a lot of Glee. So I'm ready to go back to school. I missed it. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm scared that I'm going to break like a bunch of rules accidentally because I don't know what the hell is going on. It's going to be weird. I'm going to have to adapt to it, but I am going into my senior year. So this is going to be my last chance to live it up in college. I'm going to try and make the best of it. But unfortunately, I am moving back to school in the middle of a pandemic. We're all going to get through it together. <laughs> so basically, in this video, I'm just going to be taking you along with me as I go through all of my stuff in the attic and pack up everything for college and also a little bit of the process of me moving in. And maybe my roommates will be in this video. Who knows? <laughs> so let's get on with the video. I hope you're excited because I'm excited. Okay, so I am up in the attic now. I am gonna be going through some bins that I have up here of stuff that I just kind of threw up here after I came back from college. And I know I'm not gonna need a lot of it, so I'm gonna try and consolidate as much as possible because my guess is we're gonna last two weeks on campus and they're gonna kick us all off. So I really don't wanna have a lot of stuff to lug back and forth if that happens. Overpacking is kind of my specialty, so this is gonna be pretty hard. <laughs> This is kind of the situation that we got going on. This is most- <laughs> I'm not taking that. This is mostly my stuff for college. I'm gonna take the stuff from these bins that I definitely need and put it into this bin and we'll start with that. <laughs> and stuff yeah <laughs> I have this bin so far so that's pretty impressive I got all of that and like some bins over there that all condensed down into this so I'm pretty proud of myself in this bag I basically have a little apothecary just a bunch of like different medicines and stuff so I'm gonna be bringing this for sure this has saved me a bunch of times I think that this bin is all packed and the lid goes on fine so that is great i will also be bringing that printer this sewing machine if it works i don't even think it does and some like extra fabric um i don't know if i'm gonna be bringing these i just want to look at them right now <laughs> and some random things that just need to go other places besides the attic okay i am done in the attic for now i left that one bin that i packed up there because I don't want it to clear up my space in my room while I pack other stuff but I am going to test out my sewing machine and see if it is even worth bringing to school because I really don't think that it works and I don't want to bring it if it doesn't work <laughs> okay so it is the next day I didn't really do much of anything else in terms of packing last night because I decided to watch make it or break it instead um, if you know that show then you're a real one I am going to take a shower and do my laundry and then I will pack up all my clothes. Well, not all my clothes, but I will be packing up my clothes for college and that's going to be a feat. So stick around. <laughs> okay, so I have this bin that has all my bottoms in it and then I have this 
this bin that has all my tops in it. And I think for the most part I'm done. I have a few more things that I need to put in here that are just like air drying still. But that's pretty much what I'm bringing for clothes. And then I'm going to have another bin for maybe like jackets and flannels and stuff like that. Okay, so in this big round bin, I have flannels, um, a couple sweatshirts, and my hats. <laughs> the hats will go on top of my closet, and this bin will just go on the bottom of my closet. That's what I did last year, and it's a great way to store all my flannels. And I'm only bringing, like, some of them. Like, I'm leaving, like, half of them at home, which is hard for me. <laughs> And I think I'm just going to put a couple jackets in with these bins. I will also be bringing this shoe rack and some dresses. In my hamper, I have shoes and my shoe rack thing, a foam roller, and a purse, and a belt. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to be packing up my wine glasses and shot glasses. And basically to do that, I'm just going to be wrapping them in socks and putting them in one of these drawers. <laughs> these drawers before we move them because all of these are like separate containers from each other and they like break apart when you try to move them. And this bag is my tie-dye stuff and I was going to leave it here and not bring it to school but I just like can't find it within my heart to do that because I know that I'm gonna want to do tie-dye <laughs> once I'm at school. It's one of my favorite things to do while drunk and I'm just not ready to give it up right now. I'm bringing it. I don't care if it's essential. These are just the skincare products that I'm bringing. Some cleansers, perfume, dry shampoo. That bag has nail products in it. Um, my Turby Twist, a mirror, makeup wipes, and some essential oils. Okay, so the car is almost completely packed up. Some of this is like camping equipment that I obviously won't be bringing to school, but I just have a few more things to put in here and we are leaving in like half an hour. <gasps> I'm moving into school right now. I'm sweating. I already embarrassed myself in front of someone that I went to high school with because I dropped something. And yeah, I'm bleeding. <sighs> and I just spilled this whole thing outside in front of my building and all my shoes fell out. This is what I look like post move in. <laughs> really cute, really, really cute. All I'm gonna say is if I have to go through that again any earlier than May, I will throw a fit and probably pass out. I can't even tell you how appropriate it is that I'm already using my first aid kit within like 20 minutes of being moved in. <laughs> But here we go. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna show my feet. Not for free. <laughs> There's literally three band-aids in here. Like that just, just goes to show like how often I need band-aids. I scraped up the front of my ankle too. How, how did I do that? Just a little back to school wound. Okay, so it is a little bit later now, maybe like an hour later. <laughs> I needed to rest. I needed the redness in my face to go down. <laughs> and now I'm going to start unpacking. I hope I get it all done tonight, but if I don't, who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna start with my clothes. I have a dresser right here, you can't see it, but that's fine. Oh my god, there's three drawers. Why did I think they had four? Okay, well that's fine. I don't know if I can put all my tops in one drawer. I don't know, we're just gonna see what happens. Probably gonna do a little time lapse. <laughs> Okay, the 
this is what it looks like. I kind of like categorize things, but like looking at this, you probably wouldn't think this makes any sense and that's fine because I understand it and that's all that matters. I think in this drawer, I'm going to try and do shorts, skirts, and like pajamas. I'm hoping that will work out fine. <laughs> is the next drawer of shorts, more shorts, skirts, pajamas. <laughs> Here is the last drawer. These are all my long pants. We got business in the front, party in the back, and I'm pretty much done with clothes. I like apologize for how I look. Dude, the, how I looked at the beginning of this video compared to right now is like so different. I have this fucking pimple that I just keep picking at and making it worse because that's just what I do. And yeah, I look great. I just went and unpacked a bunch of stuff without filming it and I will insert some clips of that. <laughs> situation is working out and I might have to order something but I'm fucking starving. I just want to show you guys this beautiful sunset. This is the view from my room. This year we're living on the top floor of this building and we're in the corner suite so this is gonna be the view all the time baby. So I don't have any food yet so I'm eating my friend Colleen's Easy Mac. <laughs> But neither of us have utensils, so this is what I've been doing. This is literally for like joints, and I'm starting with this. I don't know how I'm gonna eat it, <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna go for like the let it cool down and like suck it out of the cup method, but we'll see. else to film tonight i'm just gonna be chilling in my room by myself because my friend colleen moved in yesterday but she's home for the night and she's gonna come back tomorrow my friend beth is moving in tomorrow my friend john is moving in at some point after that i'm not really sure when if you want me to film a video with my roommates let me know we could do something like fear pong we could do like a roommate tag we could do a vlog i guess i don't know Comment down below any ideas that you have. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Oh. So, like, do you hear my stomach? <coughs> so, this is my... I have the hiccups. At the leisure shorts and, like... I'm so out of breath and like I can't even fucking think. <laughs> My hair is a travesty. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh, oh I'm not going outside. Wait, there's chips though. What did you say? Lawn games? I don't want that. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> what is going on, huh?